today's video we're going to take a look at replacing uh, an upsized battery in this DRZ400SM. So it has a UASA YTZ10S battery. So Eddie Cisneros used to make uh, various parts for DRZs. I think he moved on to another model of bike now. But uh, I have the decompression removed on this engine. So it's being a 400cc single cylinder it, with no decompression. It has a hard time cranking even with the upsized battery. So we're going to put in an OCO NLP 14 battery and see if it can crank the bike over consistently. With the, uh, the UASA, it's got higher cranking amps than some of the cheaper ones, but it's like 190 cranking amps, whereas this one is 500 amps. Although there, you do lose something with the, uh, the NOCO here in that it only has uh, four amp hours of capacity instead of nine. So you're not gonna have much reserve capacity in the battery. And it needs to be charged at 14.6 volts when you're using like a, a battery charger. So I just did a, a video, you'll be able to see where I talk about the uh, various chargers here. So you'll probably want the, the black NOCO Genius type charger to charge that battery. The uh, gray ones only charge at 14.2 instead of 14.6, so you'll need uh, to get something like this to trickle charge the battery. And then don't get the big transformer one, that's not going to work for this style. So this bike with the racks on it, it's a bit hard to get the battery out of there. So I'll get it out and then uh, I'll show you what a, the uh, battery expansion kit kind of looks like to make the bigger batteries fit. And then this battery is junk right now, and uh, I'll try to give it a crank, but you'll see how even if I do get it to crank over, it might struggle. So you'll see that it gets up to the top of the dead center on the bike and it can't quite get it over. But that, that battery is only two years old and it was not taken care of, so it's junk. So hopefully with the NOCO, I can get more than two years out of it without any extra maintenance. So uh, we'll get going on taking this thing apart. All right, so we've got the battery exposed now. You just take the 10 millimeter bolts off, pulling the seat down, you pop the seat off. And then there's like one hex key well, on my bike, it's a hex key. It would have been something else originally. You push down on here and you can slide the uh, plastic out. You'll see that there's no front on this battery box. And then, uh, if we can see it on the back or not. But uh, actually, being on a tripod, I just have to disconnect it for a second. So the, uh, the back of the battery box is removed as well. You can read all of the uh, warning stickers on the back of the US uh, YTZ-10S battery here. So you can see that's uh, a bigger battery than normal. I think uh, that's it. I don't know if that's supposed to be removable or not. I know, won't we? What's behind this door? I kind of need this out of the way so I can stick my fuse in there. Excellent. It's even smaller and lighter than we thought. So that fits that good. We got positive here and there, negative there. So I am going to probably put that back in maybe. I don't know. I guess it's going to fill up with mud because the battery is not protected. So we'll get the uh, new battery stuffed in here and we'll see if it cranks. All right, so the battery is not going to come out with these happy trail racks on the bike. So I'm going to have to remove the uh, two fasteners holding the uh, battery box in. So I'm going to do that next. All right, so we've got the uh, battery box out. We can take a look at the uh, Cisneros kit. So it's just a metal strap 
that bands onto here and you cut out the back of the battery box. So if he's not in business anymore, which I, I suspect he's probably not, you could certainly cut out the back of your battery box and make some kind of a strap to go around your battery. It's not a complicated thing. This, uh, the NLP14 is the exact same size as the uh, 10S and it comes with a bunch of Lego. So you could put this in a super tenier, or like a whole bunch of different bikes. And it's got the uh, cranking, but just not the reserve that you may desire. So we'll put this around here. Holds on nice. It's just a matter of getting the height of the strap to line up with the hole that goes onto the frame of the bike. So I'll get this put into the bike and then uh, we'll give it a crank. All right, good and bad news. So you can remove these uh, battery posts, but unfortunately the uh, battery connector will not fit down in there because it's like it's too close to the corner. So this uh, big wide thing is not going to fit in there. But luckily, the, you can use your existing fasteners that are the same M6 or M8 thread as the original battery that came off of here. So that's good. So I don't need to use a different Allen key to get my battery off than I do to get the uh, cover plate off. So uh, a bit of good and bad here. I'm trying to get this to fit in. So I'll get the, uh, the ground on and then we'll uh, get it cranked up. All right, so the battery is in. This will be the first start of the season if it starts. So I got the choke out. I got the fuel on. Fuel in the tank, so I guess my pet cock is not leaking. I can't check my oil until I run the bike because it's got to go up into the frame. So let's see uh, how we do. Yeah, it cranks a lot better. Smells a bit rich. This will be a good test of the battery. Feel the difference with the throttle open and close. Obviously, it's being the beginning of the season and there's no gas in the thing. It's going to be hard to start. I guess it's alive so hopefully you found that informative so thank you for watching all right so we're back for an encore as usual so one thing I forgot to show was that the everything goes back together with the uh, battery in it the terminals are up here and with the uh, UASA and the Cisneros kit or the uh, NOCO battery you might see a bit of a bigger panel gap right here but uh, it, it just pokes out about a, an eighth of an inch here where this panel comes back and that's just the way it is. It was like that with the US battery as well. 
So this bike has the Happy Trails racks on it and a Tons fabrication rack. I don't know if any of this stuff is available anymore. This bike has been in production for like 20 plus years, right? And various companies have come and gone that made parts for them. So uh, you'll see what you could find for yours. Hopefully you found it interesting. Thank you.